fact, in an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal yesterday, Clayton says that reaching a consensus for regulation is critical to modernize the global financial infrastructure. Actually, it's today's because I've got it in my hand right now. Mm -hmm. um, Jay, let's let's talk about this. There has been so much frustration with why it's taking so long to get a regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies. What the heck is going on? Uh, good morning, Becky. And the op-ed that you referenced is an effort to, to do just that. Say, so, so why is why is this so hard? Um, and look, there's there's a number of factors, and I think if we understand those factors, we're going to do a better job of moving forward, which we need to do. Um, I'll start at the end, which is the technology uh, underlying the, the the crypto, what I would say, revolution to use a, a loaded word, is, is going to come to finance. It's it's so compelling from an efficiency standpoint and a certainty standpoint that it's going to come. The problem is how do we get there? And there's a lot of factors that have driven uh, difficulty with this. One is pure emotion. And people on both sides of this debate have plenty of evidence. There's been plenty of fraud and you know, Chair Gensler is right. There's been plenty of non-compliance. There's been lots of losses. People on the other hand, see the power of this technology, the network effects they're dug in too. What, you know, and how do we break that logjam? Well, well, we recognize what's driving this. And there's a couple of things there. One is raising money for ventures in the US is largely an institutional exercise. We raise money for growth companies from institutions, not from individuals. Crypto tried to raise money from individuals. We also largely regulate domestically. Crypto is a global innovation. So you have a regulatory overlay, which usually focuses on institutions, usually focuses domestically, and a product that is global and retail. I, and I what understand, that is, that, yeah, I understand ahead, those Greg. complications. Let me, let me just lay it out from somebody who's on the outside looking in. I mean, this looks like a giant turf war. The SEC and the SC, CFTC can't agree on this. There are multiple plans that are moving through the Senate and through the House in terms of how you would break these things up. It just seems like it's a big turf war and in the meantime, the crypto players are kind of running around and doing the same thing that Silicon Valley entrepreneurs, which has done, which is pick up the motto of, you know, move quickly and break things and, and, and leave the regulators to catch up with you later. That, that seems like the mess we're in right now. I, I, you, are, you are absolutely right on both of those things. One, one I call the, the Uber effect, which is, you know, Uber came in and, and basically said the taxi cab regulation is so arcane so dated, we're, we're just going to offer a compelling consumer alternative and regulation will bend to us. There is a lot of that going on. Uh, the problem with that is you can't give up the core of our financial regulation to do it. You, you can't give up limits on leverage, requirements of disclosure, responsible parties. You know, Agree, Uber but did. that's what's happening in the meantime while this all plays out. And to your second point, we need regulatory coordination. It's a wide spectrum of products. There's some securities, there's some commodities, there are a lot of banking products. We need a wide space. So how do we go forward? You're right. Get all those people in a room and let's do something that we can achieve. I think there's widespread consensus. We can achieve rules around stable coins, essentially tokenizing what are what are known as you know today as bank transfers and the like, and bringing the efficiency of tokenization to that very safe space. You know, no leverage. Uh, rules around the fact that you have to have backing or um, uh, regulated banking uh, supervision. It's a pretty easy lift. The presidential working group started on this. They need to go forward. We also need to know how to custody digital assets so people can feel safe in the event, like we talked about what happens in an insolvency. We, we need to address those issues. But that is low-hanging fruit. If we start there, we will have improvement.